What's going on everybody, Tyraku here and welcome back to the channel. So guys, I just now set a brand new record, personal record for Fire Knight Stage 25 and lo and behold, no Seer and no Poison Explosion. So this team is going to very heavily rely on Ruel the Huntsmaster. And I swear, if I make any more videos about this guy, I'm probably going to be labeled the biggest fanboy for, Ru for Ruel. But honestly, with the new change to Hex, I'm liking him quite a bit. He was always good, but... The Hex change just made me want to throw champions in with Hex even more. So this team right here, let's go break it down, and then I'll show you guys a run of it. So first off, the presets, if you guys are curious, I'll run through the champions real quick. This is Ruel's round two, the exact same thing. Round three, pretty open. Now you could turn off the A2, maybe save some animation time, but that ability hits pretty daggone hard. Prince Kaimar, very, very simple. Just don't use the A3 in the first wave. Use the A3 on the second wave. Don't use it again. And then round three, do whatever you want for a lure. Do whatever you want, more or less. I have this specifically set up to my speed tunes, so she's basically putting the enemies to sleep, and then Ruel's coming in with an A2 ability, hitting them pretty hard, but you can mostly just leave this open if you wanted to. Um, the, the round two, the exact same thing, because Kaimar is gonna reset on round two, and all the champions could do the exact same thing they do in round one on round two. Round three, this is the most important thing. Make sure Allure on round three is only using that A1 ability, because if you leave it open, she's gonna do whatever she wants. So just turn off the other two abilities, just use that A1. Ghostborn, it's gonna be a pretty simple setup as well. Open with the A3, round one, open with the A3 on round two, and then on round three, open with the A2, which honestly, it doesn't really matter what he opens with. I just have him opening with this, so that ideally, if this is not on cooldown, and it gets set on cooldown when he opens it up, then the very first turn he gets with the Fire Knight Shield down, he should be able to apply decreased defense from this ability or from this ability. Now with this ability, he does need accuracy to land that. With the A3 ability, so his AoE decreased defense, he does not need uh, accuracy to actually land that ability. Now let's talk about Royal Guard. So Royal Guard, set the takedown to number one priority. In round two, turn off Hamstring and have takedown set to number one priority. You want to make sure that in round three, you have Hamstring ready to go as soon as you get to the Fire Knight. And then when you get to the Fire Knight, Hamstring, have it set to the opener, and then have it set to number one, and then take down, have it set to number two. The reason why is because having the decreased speed applied to the Fire Knight as soon as possible is very, very important. Plus, the hamstring ability hits four times, so it helps you break the Fire Knight shield as soon as possible. I wish I could just have him use this a few times and then only use takedown after that, but I can't. So this is the best way that I've noticed. You can do it with takedown as number one, opener for the hamstring ability, and then number two for hamstring. But I've noticed that when I did that, the run wasn't as consistent. So I'm going to run this in one time speed so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So Allure here is just going to use her A1 ability. Nothing super important. We're going to get the AoE decreased defense from Ghostborn as well as the increased attack. Um, Ruel is going to place his Hex, which actually adds quite a bit of damage. That's one massive thing you want to notice, that Ruel goes before Royal, Royal Guard, which is very, very important. The Hex is going to share a lot of damage, plus it's going to allow Royal Guard to do 10% more damage to the enemies. He opens up with his a3 or a2 ability doing a big aoe hit very solid now allure comes in sets all the enemies to sleep and then well all of them except for netheril who's a little rebel i guess and then ruel comes in with his a2 ability and since i have the opportunist mastery he's doing an additional 12 percent against targets who are slept so he comes in with his a2 ability boom and then a big hit on the second one and then we go into the second wave with the exact same setup kaimar resets alert is the a1 ability and then aoe from ghostborn let me hide myself since I'm taking up all the champions. Royal Guard with a big A2 ability hit. Ruel hopefully places Hex on everybody. He can get resists, which is never fun when that happens. And then, boom, almost everybody dies. There is a chance that not everybody dies. And if they don't all die, then you got to hope your damage dealers can finish them off. And if they don't, you could have some issues. So, if you're having issues with that, throw a shield set on Ghostborn. He's one of the champions who's not very stat demanding. So you can definitely throw a shield set on him if you're having a hard time surviving or if you're having a hard time nuking all the waves down. Definitely a viable option there. This run, once you get to the Fire Knight, it's going to be a pretty fast run. You'll see my previous one was a minute and 13 seconds, I believe it was. Either way, it was a new record for me. The slowest that I've seen was a minute like 40, but I went in and allowed Ghostborn to use his A3 on the boss. I used to have it turned off, thinking the animation was too long, but the second I turned it back on, it literally shaved about five seconds off my time. Uh, maybe even 10 seconds because it, w it went from a previous record of like a minute and 19 to now a minute and 15, at least in the last one that I showed you guys. I think it was a minute 15, may have been 13. It was a fresh record, so I don't even remember what it was, a minute 15. So let's talk about some substitutions before these champions before we get into their gearing. So 
Come down here, Ruel, very, very important. Allure, very, very important. Kaimar, Ghostborn, and Royal Guard, I'm pretty sure can all be replaced. Royal Guard hits really hard, it has a decreased speed. Bring a decreased speed champion in, a multi-hitter, you should be fine. Ghostborn, Lydia should be a perfectly fine replacement, though you will be losing out on that increased attack debuff. So you may want to consider that, that you will be losing out on some boosted damage from Ruel, and you may have to make him hit harder for that to actually make sense. Kaimar can be replaced with Renegade. You may have to change up the tuning. You may have to change up the presets, but this team right here does work, and it was like two minutes and something. Once we finish going over all these champions' gear, I'll go ahead and show you guys another run in full speed so you can see the actual speed of this team. So Kaimar, not very specific with his stats, to be honest. Good speed. Make sure he's faster than your fastest champion. Well, that would make him your fastest champion. Make sure he's faster than your second fastest champion. And then make sure he has, really, that's all. That's really all you need for him whatsoever. He's just in my arena speed tune. This speed seems to work especially well. He does get back around to reapply that sleep to some of the enemies. So if you can get him to this speed, you use him in the arena already, just use the same one for this team and it works out perfect. You could probably speed tune this, like fine tune it, but I haven't worried about this. This seems to work perfectly fine. The skills, you don't even need books for him whatsoever. For the masteries, you could go War Master to give him a little bit more damage. You could also build him with 65% crit rate because all Magic Affinity champions versus the Spirit Affinity Fire Knight and all the waves only need 65% because you have 20% from Ruel plus the 15% for Strong Affinity. So you could do that. You could all make all those fine-tuning, um, beneficial min-maxing things. But for him, just worry about speed, to be honest. So the second champion is Allure. Allure, you want to make sure she's at least 65% crit rate, effectively 100%, because, like I said, Ruel plus being Strong Affinity, this ability, her A1, which is the main thing for Fire Knight, only works if you land a crit. So you need to make sure your crit rate is effectively 100%, 65% with the team that I'm using, and then the accuracy, at least 200. So accuracy, crit rate, and speed. Speed is very, very important. You'll see 284 here. It worked with 270, so you could go lower than 284, but keep in mind, if the Fire Knight starts lapping you, then you'll know, hey, you need to increase your lure speed, and it should fix that problem. She can keep the Fire Knight at, at bay, basically controlling perfectly fine by herself. Obviously, the faster she is, the better it's going to be. As far as her skills go, you don't really need to book anything. You could book that A1 ability. I did. Extra damage is always good. She can do some decent damage, so go ahead and book them if you have the books. If not, don't sweat it. Not a huge deal. And then as far as her masteries go, you do want to pick up Giant Slayer because Giant Slayer can proc from each of her A1 ability hits, and it can definitely allow you for some good RNG runs, allowing you to have a new record time like you just saw with mine. So I'm going to leave my webcam off for these next few champions just so you guys can fully see everything. So the next champion to go is going to be Ghostborn. Ghostborn's main thing is just good speed. You want to make sure he's faster than Ruel or Royal Guard. You want to make sure he has good accuracy if you're planning on landing that decreased defense from the A1. But if you want to rely on Royal Guard and Ruel to place the decreased defense, don't even worry about his accuracy because both those champions can do it perfectly fine and he doesn't need it for his A3 ability, as in Ghostborn doesn't, can't be resisted from that AoE decreased defense anyways. So other than that, good speed. If you don't need accuracy, then all you need from there is at least 80% crit rate because he's neutral affinity and you have Ruel with the extra 20% in the lead. So get him good crit rate, good crit damage, get him good attack if you can. And then from there, just go ahead and stack whatever other pieces of gear you want on him. If you want shield set to help you survive on the waves, if you do get hit, Go ahead, throw a shield set on him. Anything you want to put on him, it's perfectly fine. Maybe even a guardian set to help soak some of that damage onto him. But you can do whatever set you want. Just make sure you're hitting those main stat priorities. And then from there, stack more damage or go with a different route. So the next champion is going to be Ruel. Make sure your Ruel is at least one speed faster than your Royal Guard so that Ruel can place the A3, the hex on all the enemies before Royal Guard ever takes a turn. But as far as that, Ruel is a pretty stat demanding champion. So I'm going to turn my webcam back on in just a second. We're going to look at his masteries real quick. Royal Guard and Ruel's masteries are going to be basically exactly the same. Picking up Helm Smasher to do a little bit more damage versus those hexed targets, and it seems to work very well. You don't need this mastery on the top. If you want to take this one instead, perfectly fine. It just all depends on your gearing. Now, Evil Eye over here is very much worth taking on all of your champions. For Ruel and Royal Guard, I opted with Lore of Steel just to help with that little extra attack boost from Cruel since it does give me a little bit of extra attack percentage from that. So, looking at Ruel's gear, this solely depends on how much damage your Royal Guard can do. If your Royal Guard's not doing a ton, if you're having issues clearing the waves with Ruel in your current build, go ahead, boost his damage up. But essentially, you want really high attack, Speed doesn't really matter that much. Just keep in mind, if you're if you're getting lapped by the enemy, bump his speed up some, but this speed's working perfectly fine. 80% crit rate at least. 
249% crit damage is what I have. That's definitely not the number you have to go for. Just get a good amount of crit damage with ideally Savage and Cruel. But obviously, if you're going Savage plus crit damage, then adjust it as needed. Get a little bit more crit damage than that. And then accuracy, at least 200. And other than that, you should be perfectly fine. Get him fully booked. This You do need this A3 ability fully booked. Having the A1 and A2 is nice. It'll be very hard to gear him without that extra damage boost from those books. Now, Royal Guard, let's take a look at his gear. Another gear intensive champion as far as the actual damage being dealt. You want to just push his damage up as high as you can. However, since he's magic affinity, you only need 65% crit rate. 65% crit rate, 200 accuracy, reasonable speed, stack his attack, stack his crit damage. You're going to be good to go. His skills, go ahead and book him. He's an epic champion, not super demanding. If you decide to book or to take all your champions who are not strong affinity to 100% crit rate, and you take your strong affinity champions, Royal Guard and Allure, and possibly even Kaimar, to 85% crit rate, you can go his aura instead, which could soften the blow on your actual damage dealing gear because you can just go more attack percentage here. So definitely something worth considering. And then his masteries are over here. Like I said, basically the exact same thing as what Ruel has. So guys, that is the build of these champions. I'll go through the run one more time to give you guys another little breakdown, another, another little showcase of how the turn priority breaks down. You don't have to have the champion slept before your, before your Ruel actually hits them, but it does help. It does help with getting that little bit of extra damage off. Maybe we can clear the second wave here in one shot and see a new personal record set. That would be awesome. But it doesn't happen very frequently, to be honest. So let's see. Boom. Okay, we almost got a one-shot there. So we're actually getting to the Fire Knight in 23 seconds, which is one of the fastest times that I've done it in. I think 23 seconds is maybe setting us up to see another personal record set here. And a minute 15 was actually set just two times after taking my A3 on Ghostborn from being not used to actually allowing him to use it now. So maybe... This allows me to make a new personal record. Two personal records in one video. Imagine that. That'd be crazy. So it's it's been a long time since I've changed my Fire Knight team. I used to use a Seer team with uh, Allure and Royal Guard. It was more gear intensive. Um, my Allure needed to be faster. I needed to have Blood Shield accessories. I needed to have this and this and this. And it was a little bit more challenging. This team is a lot more forgiving, at least with my gear, because I don't have to get the Blood Shield accessories I don't have to have my Seer crazy high crit damage, and if she doesn't have high enough, I don't one-shot the waves, and I'm just at a loss. With this team, if I don't one-shot the waves, both of my damage dealers still hit hard enough that it's not really an issue. So we didn't get a personal record there. I do believe if I took Royal Guard and made him change up that A3 ability from open with this and prioritize like this, if I do this instead, so if you guys made it to this point in the video, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a sub on the channel. Let me know if you guys build this team. I'm going to try this swap. This doesn't make the run super consistent. There's been times where it fails, but it also succeeds. And it's also faster because you're doing takedown every single chance you get. Whereas the other setup, you're constantly using that um, A3 ability, the decreased speed. Oh my goodness. So right there was a little bit weird. Uh, we don't have the hex on this with enemies, but you can see it's still fine. As long as you have your Kaimar's AI set up correctly, even if you don't one-shot everybody, it's no big deal whatsoever. I'm going to reset this just because I was wanting to see a new speed run. That wasn't going to be a speed run. But since Kaimar's going into that next wave, fully resetting everybody, it's going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to be an issue whatsoever, which is a thing I think is really nice about this team. Is that even when you don't apply your hexes, it takes specific situations for you to fail. So this team's going to have a very high win rate. I don't think it's going to be 100% necessarily because the likelihood of not placing the hexes... That was a very good clear there. So we're coming in once again at 23 seconds on the Fire Knight. Let's see if this will be the brand new personal record for this brand new Fire Knight team that I've made. So I don't have the options for Poison Explosion. I kind of wish I did because I'd probably use a Poison Explosion team. But I do have two. I have one Calvalax, no Tomb Lord, no Elenaro, most importantly, no Zavia, unfortunately. So we got to do with this one. I kind of like it. It's a minute 15. Not a bad team whatsoever, honestly. And the gear isn't taking up from anybody else who's using it. It's relatively easy as far as the crit rate caps that I need and everything like that. So I like it. I definitely like it quite a bit. Now we are landing some poisons. So from Kaimar. So technically it's not a completely poison free team, I guess, because we are landing some poisons, but they're never going to count. They're not going to matter. Let's see if Royal Guard hits for the A3, A2 ability. Nope. Looks like we're not going to get a new personal record on four. Oh, nope. Exactly the same time as before. So a minute 15. Seems to be the fastest time for this team for me. But let me know if you guys build this. Let me know if you can do faster than a minute 15. Because I definitely think there's some people out there who can fine-tune this. Make your Ruel one-shot the waves. 
make Royal Guard do more damage, and then you may be able to one-shot this run, no problem. Maybe maybe even turn off Ruel's A2 ability. I don't know. Maybe something worth testing. But guys, thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one.